listen, please look up. Let me teach you something. There are two ways God blesses people. He blesses people by making you Abraham or he blesses you by making you Lot. Are we together? Not everyone will receive the mandate directly from God, but everyone can be the partaker of the mandate. If you are Lot and you are trying to prosper by being Abraham, you will die hungry. God called Abraham, but Lot said, I can still partake of it. Are we together now? So you need to know whether you are Abraham or Lot. If you are Abraham, your mandate is to be faithful with what you have received because there is a Lot who is at the mercy of your obedience. If you are Lot, you must discern so that you do not break the relationship with Abraham because your prosperity is tied to your discernment. The first decision Lot took outside of Abraham's influence landed him in Sodom and Gomorrah. That means his prosperity was not a function of his wisdom. He was under a grace of Abraham. Hear what I'm telling you. There are many of you who, if God is to allow you learn all the business principles by yourself and start prospering, it may be till 20, 30 before you prosper. But he brings you after the order of Lot. It is one of the ways he redeems time by giving men favor. Because it takes time to learn the genuine secrets that produce lasting wealth. And the truth is that there are people who have gotten born again late before they now begin to learn these principles. A woman of 70 years, where is she going to learn 25 principles for prosperity? She's made the mistake she did not maximize destiny. But is God still a God of mercy? So God will bring Abraham to her. And she needs to have the wisdom of Lot. If you are Abraham, I am telling you, be faithful in hearing God. Because Lot, there are many Lots that are depending on your obedience. But if you are Lot, swallow your pride and honor Abraham. Because if you fight with Abraham, that is the end of your prosperity. The same Abraham that fought with Lot was the one who had to come and save Lot. And even in doing that, he lost his wife. You know what it means to lose your wife? The basis for your productivity. Pharaoh said, let the men go, but the women and children should remain. That means the men would die of old age, of natural cause, and there would not be transgenerational, there would not be continuity. Are we together? Please listen to what I'm telling you. I'm speaking to you prophetically. There are some of you right now, by the mercy of God and because of the covenant God had with your parents, instead of taking 10 years to start learning the principles, the truth is that time has gone. You already have five children. Before you learn all the rudiments, so what God does as an act of his mercy is he will let you hear when he's speaking to Abraham. As Abraham moves, you come as Lot. Provided you can be faithful, a day will come. You will not even know who God spoke to and who God or who is following. The mistake. Do you know the trouble between Abraham and Lot started from their men, not them? Their men. Train the people around you to know why the anointing is in your life. So that they do not, you don't lose the anointing and lose favor. I don't know why the Spirit of God is speaking this through me. I'm speaking to the entire globe. Listen to me. There are people right now, the reason why you will lose favor is because of your children. You have not taught your children that the church God planted you in is the reason why God is honoring them. And you are watching them dishonor the vessel that God is using to lift you. Learn from Lot. Remember Lot's wife, but remember Lot too. Two of them have a story to tell. Are we together now? Know when you are Abraham and know when you are Lot. Not everybody will be Abraham. You can look onto Abraham, but not everybody will be Abraham. There are people today, God has granted them an unusual grace. They can sit down where they are every year. They can have opportunity to give up to 30 people jobs. And because of your relationship with them, out of those 30 slots, they will give you 3-3 three, three every year. Make sure you don't fight these kind of people. Because the day that happens, 
that up, it will be the day your child now just graduates from school and is ready for a job and that door is closed. I pray for someone, whatever has taken you away from the blessing of Abraham as Lot, may my God who is your God bring restoration. May my God who is your God bring restoration. And if you are Abraham, I'm praying for you. The grace to stay until what God says manifest. May it happen for you. May that grace rest on you. So that all the lots connected to you will not wait in vain because of your disobedience. And Lot went with him. That was the wisest thing Lot did. And Lot went with him. And Lot went with him. And Lot went with him. When it was time for God to help the Ethiopian eunuch, he encouraged the servant Philip. He said, join this chariot. For the sake of the man, join this chariot. If you leave this man alone, confusion will kill him. If you leave this man alone, he will never be saved. Join this chariot. Can I tell you? Beware of the people God brings in your life. There are destructive people I taught you, but there are people who are gifts. When you see other people joining your chariot, discern. If it's God that has sent them there, respect their presence. It's not idleness that brought them. God sent them to your chariot so that you will understand the interpretation of what you are reading. You have opened the book of your destiny, but you cannot understand it. So God sends them to join the chariot. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Genesis 42, 1 and 2. There was hunger and Jacob spoke to his sons. He saw that there was corn, but the location was wrong. There was supply. He saw that there was money, but the man who has that money is a cultist. But I am hungry and my husband has five children. My husband has six children. And the cultist is saying, come, you will work with me. You will bow to my God and you will earn a salary of 200,000. And church people are saying, don't worry. God is faithful. Love him anyhow. And the person is getting into trouble. Give us verse 1. Media, verse 1. Genesis 42, 1. And now when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, he said to his sons, why do you look upon one another? Verse 2. I have heard that there is corn. The only problem is that the location is not a good place. Get thee down theater and buy for us. Yes, I know that the man sacrifices people, but just go, we are hungry. I know that the money the man wants to give me as a man of God is blood money, but what will I do? If I don't collect it, the church will not be built. I know that you are not caught, you still bring it. The church needs to be empowered. It has become a disease. This thing called poverty, for as long as I'm alive and for as long as God gives me the privilege of leadership over this ministry, I have vowed before God and it's my covenant to you that among many things that you must carry in this destiny is the grace to live a life of dignity and honor. You believe that? Shout amen. amen. I will never raise a people who are just spiritually vibrant at the expense of their economic empowerment. I'm committed to bringing the whole counsel of God. Among the five benefits of God is that he satisfied your mouth with good things so that your days are renewed, your youth is renewed. Let's pray for the sick now. You deserve the glory. Please lay your hands. And the honor. Lord, I lift my hands in worship. As I bless your holy name, you deserve the glory and the honor. As we lift our hands in worship, as we bless your holy name, for you are great, you do miracles so great. 